Gatschützen were motorized, lightly armed and highly mobile infantry units of the German army. These motorcycle battalions used their heavy sidecar combinations as fighting vehicles. As early as the 1920s, motorcycles were produced for the German army. The advantages were low acquisition and maintenance costs. The first units were set up in 1935 and were mainly subordinate to the reconnaissance units of the tank divisions. During the war, vast numbers of motorcycles of all kinds and brands were captured and used. Even if their main task was reconnaissance, they should be capable of infantry operations as well. Despite their relatively light armament, they developed a remarkable infantry fighting force due to their speed and the resulting elements of surprise. The armament consisted of the basic equipment of the infantrymen. However, each rifle squad was equipped with MG-34 machine guns, which was mounted on the sidecar. As the fastest and most agile part of the army, however, their combat strength was used up in the mud, dust, desert and snow. During the first actions, for example in the campaign against France, the Kratschützen proved well. Bad road conditions, however, led to the first problems, but the effects were marginal due to the short campaign. Totally new challenges were faced during the campaign against the Soviet Union. The commercial motorcycles were not up to these trains. The new heavy sidecar combinations of the BMW and Zündap met the demands much better, but they were too complicated and expensive. Due to heavy casualties in 1941, the reconnaissance and Kratschützen battalions were combined in most Panzer divisions. The last real success of the Kratschützen was the German campaign in the Caucasus in the summer of 1942, where these troops acted as an advanced guard for their divisions and led the way of the offensive. However, in late 1942, the time of the motorcycles was over. The Kratschützen were more and more equipped with the Kübelwagen and the Schwimmwagen, and the production of these cheaper and they were more versatile and had much better weather protection. In this time the Kratschützen were equipped with their first real fighting vehicle, the small armored personal carrier, the Sonderkraftfahrzeug, so special purpose vehicle, 250. But despite the problems and the integration, motorcycles remained indispensable for different purposes until the end of the war.